Hi everyone, it is Monday the 26th of November 2018 and I am just about to head to the post office to post my Patreon Christmas cards. Hello, so I am at, oh, well actually I am on the car park of my local hairdresser where I normally get this do done. I've just washed it this morning and left it, it's got no product in it. Um, I like it nice and clean obviously before it's cut so they don't have to wash it in the salon. Um, so yes, I'm going to get my do done. My do will be did, as some people say. Uh, so I'll check back in once my do has been done. Then I'm going to visit a friend or I may pop the supermarket. I need some new lip balm. I've run out and my lips are getting very dry and cracked in the very cold weather here in the UK. We have had some frosts. So yes, I will check back in later. Like I said, I'm not sure whether I'm going to go to the supermarket first or go to visit my friend. We will see. Um, so anyway, I will check back in later. Hopefully looking a lot better. And I'm back. Okay, the do is done. I'm not quite sure how much you can see of said do, um, but the do is done. I still have my bouffant, which is obviously perfect for my tiaras. So, ah! Yes, it's nice to be done. It's a very, very cold morning here um, in the UK. We have had some frosts overnight and that kind of thing. So, um, yes, it is very, very cold. I do have enough time before I need to go and see my friend uh, for a cup of lovely English tea, uh, which will be delightful. I am going to pop to the shops and get some lunch. I need to go to the beauty store to get some lip balm. Ugh. Yes, the whole saga of lip balm. The brand I like has added SPF to the entire of their range. And I literally cannot stand the taste of SPF. I know it's good, it protects your lips, but I can't stand the taste. If I want to put sun cream on, I will put sun cream on over my entire face, including my lips. But I do not want it on, you know, even in the winter. I need to get some kind of lip balm or cream that doesn't have an SPF that is very moisturising on my incredibly dry lips. I have ordered a product online on Amazon today. It's um, Drunk Elephant Lip Balm or something. Um, so I'm going to see that and see how it goes. Apparently it's really good. The reviews are good. Um, I've seen some vlogs about it and some reviews. So I'm going to test that and see how that goes. But that hasn't come. So I need something in the meantime. So without further ado, let's get off to the shops. And I'm back. Okay, so I have bought, well, I've actually ended up with two um, lip treatment things. I'm not sure if you can see, um, but they are 100% natural and everything free. And they are supposed to be really intensive for your lips. Um, they were on buy one, get one free. So I paid for the most expensive one because they are both different. And I had the cheapest one free. So it was a bit of a bargain. Um, what are they called? In fact, I don't even know what they're called. Um, I've not heard of them before. In fact, I'll turn the camera around and just show you the packet. This is the cheaper one of the two. Um, and it's supposed to be for very dry lips. Winner of 50 awards, 99% natural. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. In fact, I'm going to try it in a moment. This is the most expensive one. It was 10 99 The other one was 8 99 And it's 101 ointment. And it has stars for winning awards. 101 uses. And it's got no... Um, artificial fragrances, mineral oils, um, all that kind of thing. No animal testing. So again, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put some on now. And I have just applied the one with lemon oil in. Oh, oh my goodness. It tastes amazing. You can, mm, and it smells gorgeous too. No horrible vile SPF taste here. Um, it does feel really silky and smooth. Um, I'm just looking in the mirror. I need to just, it's a bit glossy. <laughs> It did say it was a bit glossy. Um, so yeah, we'll just wipe a little bit of the excess. Um, I think a little goes a very long way. I may have put a little bit too much on, but um, yes, I'm quite impressed so far, but we'll see how it goes. I will test both of them and see how they go whilst I'm waiting for my drunk elephant. Onwards to my friend, onwards for tea. And if you're wondering why you are staring through the window of my back entrance, um, you will see, you will notice that it is raining and all will be revealed soon. Hello and welcome back. Um, I usually start my vlogs outside here in this position and I do have my cup of tea. We are using 
my Emma Bridgewater mug today, well one of my Emma Bridgewater mugs, and this one says, um, a piece of cake, not sure if you can see, and it says happiness is a cup of coffee and a really good book. Now, as you know, um, I do have coffee, uh, but I've got tea in here today, as I always start my morning with a cup of tea, and I always finish my evening with a cup of tea too. So. Last week, the weekly vlog, I tried the new YouTube Premiere feature, uh, which is where I can set the vlog to go live at a certain time, and it enables a chat room where everyone can come, and we can all watch and chat while we watch the vlog together as a Premiere. And it seemed to work really, really well. Everyone seemed to like it. I asked if you wanted me to do it again, and you all said yes in the chat room, so... When this vlog goes live, it will be a premiere. So I hope that when you're watching this, um, we are chatting together in the chat room. It is really, really good because we can all come together and watch it together. And I really enjoyed being able to answer your questions in real time, uh, which is really, really good. So that is something that I really, really enjoyed. Before I came out, it was really, really sunny. There was lots of sun. And as you can tell from the sky, um, it's a lot less cloudy than it was last week and of course when it was raining I did my video testing Queen Elizabeth's umbrella oh my goodness it's amazing the birdcage umbrella the see-through umbrella which the Queen uses uh, so do go and check out my video about that it was really something else so today I think I'm gonna get myself ready I still haven't written my Christmas speech so I still need to write my Christmas speech because I always record it in about two weeks time ready to go out on Christmas Day. I always set it to go out at 3 p.m. the same as the Queen on Christmas Day so of course after you've watched the Queen you can pop back on and watch moi. I also think today I am going to go shopping in my local town centre so I will take you around for a little bit of a look-see but you can't see everything because some things I'll be buying are presents for other people um, so you can only look at the things that I'm kind of choosing for me uh, because people have asked me to get stuff for me uh, from them for Christmas so um, you know I'm at the age now where I think it just needs to be things that I actually need and want and, and like and um, it's really hard to buy for people it's really hard to buy for other people it's really hard to buy for myself so I need to go and try a few things on make sure things fit but yeah I'll just be taking a look at basically what's out there those clouds are moving quite quickly, can you see? Um, it's definitely windy up there. It's been quite windy in the UK all week. Um, it's not so, not so windy now on the ground, but you can tell in the atmosphere it's still very windy because um, there's a lot of fast moving air up there. Can you hear the birds in the background? They're having a little fight in the trees. I just want to show you all the latest addition to our home gym. Jason bought a rowing machine. Um, it's a Roger Black rowing machine. Hashtag non-sponsored. Um, and it's really, really good. I've only had a little quick go on it. Um, Jason tried it last night for the first time. And it was really, really good. Um, it's even got this little blower thing. So, like, when you, when you pull out, um, all the air that's created from the big wheel inside comes out of here and blows on your face as you're on the row machine and um, yeah it looks really really good and actually quite sturdy and it was a reasonable price as well so it sits here I'm a little bit worried about the weights falling on it but we may have to do a little bit of moving around and obviously once we've got it exactly in the right position I think it'll be really really good just a little quick gym update um, I haven't got back into it since I was ill with, with the tonsillitis in fact like I said a few weeks ago I've only just gotten back to my um, normal eating patterns and this week I can safely say that I have literally been eating what I would normally eat so I think I am totally um, back to normal now and fully recovered once and for all so I am going to be looking to be getting back into the gym I really do need to um, and hey that rower might be a really good start so you may see in these vlogs lots more of me huffing and puffing in the gym Hey Rory, where's Brian? He's not through the hole in the hedge, is he? Oh, look how gorgeous you are. What a gorgeous, handsome boy. What's through the hole? Or are you having a bit of a sniff? Can you see the cat hole? That's the way the cats go through, and other animals probably, into the neighbouring garden. 
What are you doing? <laughs> what? You, who's rubbed themselves on that plant? Hey, who's rubbed themselves on there? Where are you going? Are you waiting? Where's Brian? Oh, you're off. With a shake of the foot. Look at that big bottom. Rory. Okay, and he's off. Through the cat hole. Goodbye. Hi everyone, um, I am so sorry I didn't vlog whilst I was in there shopping. It was so busy, I was in and out of the changing room trying things on. Um, but I eventually got some things, um, some are presents. Some are presents for me from other people because my mother has been asking me um, what I want for Christmas so I just said I'd go and basically just get it and make sure that things fit. Um, I have bought some nice sandwiches though, which I'm going to go home now and enjoy and it's also started raining look not sure if you can see or hear the rain can you hear it um so i'm going to go home put the heating on put some washing on because i've got a mountain of washing that needs doing um but yeah when i'm shopping one shop is enough i've literally been to one shop and that is uh, marks and spencers so um i didn't fancy venturing out any further i will go back another day um maybe when it's a little bit quieter um, it is kind of midweek, it's it's Wednesday, no it's not, it's Thursday, it's Thursday so it's getting towards the end of the week, maybe I could try on a Monday or Tuesday, hopefully it will be a bit quieter. Anyway, onwards to home. Okay, so I've escaped making lunch once more and we have the M&S tuna and sweet corn on soft malted brown bread, delicious, and Mark Spencer's our best ever. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Prawn sandwich, look, delicious. I think I'm going to have the prawn one today and the tuna one tomorrow. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to show you the state of this parcel. Um, I've just discovered this parcel absolutely soaked through. Look at the cardboard, that is soaked. Um, it had been left outside my front door for goodness knows how long. I mean, it looks like it's been there uh, quite a while. And uh, there was no delivery note through the door to say that a parcel had been left anywhere. And that is not my safe place. Um, outside my front door is most definitely not my designated safe place. Um, I have no idea what this is, but just look at the state of this. It must have, it was tucked a bit behind one of my front flower pots. Yeah, so whoever delivered this, thank you very much. And in the words of The Apprentice, you're fired. Okay, so this is a traditional British fish and chip shop, as it is widely known in the UK. And you can see um, on the hot counters all of the um, mostly fried food. I, it's safe to say that a fish and chip shop is pretty much fried food. Um, so. We are just getting some fish and chips for my nan, um, and then we will go to her house and have lunch. Hiya. Hi. 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 <laughs> I had that in the toe, that piece of cotton wool, look. I forgot she put it in there. Well, I had to put the toe up because it was that sore. No wonder you could feel something. <laughs> Hello. I said, John, it says, Mother, you ruined that can. You do? Oh, God. I'll be running back. This piece of cotton because he's got no chicken. Like, he doesn't like the chicken from so and so, and he doesn't like the chicken from somewhere else. And uh, I got I got him some. It, it was two pounds. No, that last lot I got him. See, I've only got I've only got a small foot. Look, look, how, look how thin my foot is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, I did have a slim <coughs> foot. 
It's only all the sitting that I'm doing as well, <laughs> aren't I? The jungle tonight is 9.30 to 10.30. No. Later, just an hour, yes. There's the final of the X Factor. No, I don't bother Don't watch that. that. Are you thinking about it? No, no. Are you going? I have to keep saying that to him. I'm not standing here for a fool, I say to him. <laughs> 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 So today is December the 1st and look in my front yard, the twinkly lights have gone on, <gasps> wow. And tonight's delicious dinner is sausage, wedges and egg, mm. Hurrah, it is December the 1st, which means I can finally open my Thornton's Advent Calendar, which I showed you last week in the weekly vlog. Um, so without further ado, I need to find number one. Um, number one, where are you? Um, okay. <laughs> where are you, number one? Aha! It's right here. So I need to open window number one. Come to me. I want to know which... <gasps> ooh! Ooh! A vanilla, vanilla truffle. I love truffles, they're my favourite. An enhanced vanilla truffle. Centre, encased in both dark and white chocolate, and expertly hand-finished. Um, look at the little window. Okay, I need to break the window now, and take out my truffle. <gasps> oh, it's white. Mm, it's... <gasps> look at this truffle. <gasps> look at the lovely truffle. Um, shall we try it? Mm. Hold in one. Mm. And back in the room. Um, that truffle was absolutely amazing. Um, no, seriously, that truffle was lovely. I loved it. I wonder what day two is going to be. Um, they're right. This really is a taste journey. I love my Thornton's advent calendar. Uh, join me tomorrow on the vlog um, for window number two. And I think we will. I will show you it um, every day. Wow. I'm impressed. Just watching some YouTube with Molly. She is on my legs and she loves Ariana Grande. Who knew? Molly, are you after a fish stick? I think you are. <laughs> Hello. So I am here and I am going to be doing a very special unboxing. I'm finally going to open what's in this box and we can see inside so i've pre-cut the box but i haven't taken a peek inside i have been very very good so without further ado let's take a look what's in the box i'm doing flaps <sighs> wow oh by the way i should say who it's from shouldn't i um it's from janice janice williams so a big 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 thank you to janice williams i did thank her um, a while ago when I received this box. This is the one that almost got lost. So a really big thank you to Janice. Ooh, it's well packed. Look. Wow, what on earth is this? Um, let's remove the air packaging. Wow. Oh my goodness, look. Oh my goodness, Janice. Thank you so much. Where, where do I start? Okay. Um, let's put the, the plastic away first. Wow. Where do I start? This, it's, wow. Um, I'm speechless. There are so many treats in here. I'm just going to pull them out and have a look. Okay. Um, snow caps. Semi-sweet chocolate. Nestle snow caps. I'm wondering if you can see. Wow. Okay. Um, of course I can't taste them all here now, but wow, 
Whoppers, the original malted milk balls. Um, I can't wait to get some Whoppers in. The smell, I can smell chocolate. Wow. Um, sugar babies. Candy coated milk caramels. Wow. Um, goobers. I have not heard of a lot of these things at all. I know the brand Nestle, but I have never tried them. A zero. King size. You're not lying. That is king sized. Wow. Janice, you've outdone yourself. Um, almond rocker, the original butter crunch toffee with almonds. I'm just trying to, so you can see because of the reflection of the lights. Um, jelly fruit, ooh, um, juji fruits, juji fruits, J-U-J-Y fruits, chewy fruit candy. Are they a bit like our jelly babies? I don't know. Um, wow. Jolly Rancher hard candy. So far, I have never had any of these things. Um, a dot. Assorted fruit flavoured gumdrops. I do like gumdrops. Um, but I have never had these. Wow. Um, Boston baked beans. I have heard of these. I have heard of them, but I've never had them. Um, candy coated peanuts. Oh, I see a letter. Um, I see a letter which I will read in a moment. So I'll just put that to one side. Uh, another bag. Ooh, sorry. I nearly dropped it. Ferrero Rochers, they're trying to escape. Um, okay, I have had Ferrero Rochers before and I do really like them. I'm hoping you can see. Um, so I, will, I know I will enjoy those. Junior mints. I do like mints. Can you see? Wow. This is never ending. Thank you, Janice. Um, mini Charleston Jews. Can you see if I do it that way? Wow. Chewy flavoured. Wow. Ooh, Mike and Mike. I've seen these. I had another gift box that had something similar. I'm not sure if they are the same ones. Oh, lemon heads, I like these. Um, I had them before in a different package um, and I do like them because they are very sour, so I know I like lemon heads. I don't get them in this country, but I know I like them. Uh, Raisinette, oh, I love chocolate raisins. Um, I've never had that brand, but I do love chocolate raisins. They are one of my favourites. Uh, good and plenty. Licorice candy. Wow. Look at all the E numbers. <laughs> I'm going to be sky high. Um, <gasps> hot tamales. Fierce cinnamon. <laughs> wow. Okay, those are going to be an experience. Um... Milk duds. I have no idea. Um, milk duds, anybody? <laughs> um, chocolate and caramel. Ooh, ooh, a massive Milky Way. We do have them. They don't have the same package in the UK. Um, are they Nestle still? Um, is it still Nestle? Ooh, it might be different, but we do have Milky Ways in the UK, um, but not that big anymore. I think they used to be years ago. Uh, before everything got shrunk. Red Hots. <gasps> More Red Hot candy. What are you trying to do to me, Janice? Uh, a payday. I've heard of these paydays. A payday. Peanut caramel bar. King size. And, ooh, I've seen these. They do do them in the speciality aisle of Sainsbury's. A musketeer. But I've never tried one. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Janice. And I do want to open, obviously, um, the letter. 
or card. I think it's a card. Um, okay, there's the card. Probably can't see. Um, oh, there's a massive note. Um, so I am going to read this to myself. Um, so thank you so, so, so much to Janice, who has obviously donated this amazing food parcel. So thank you so, so much. Um, I am really going to enjoy getting stuck into those things. Um, hopefully, I may even try some on one of my live chats or even in a weekly vlog. I still have some hampers which I haven't tried yet, which um, obviously I didn't film because I lost my appetite completely after the whole tonsillitis thing. Um, so that is something that I definitely need to get on with over the Christmas holidays um, and including Vlogmas because I may do a bit of Vlogmas. So um, expect lots of tasting during my Vlogmas. And I also have another parcel which arrived today. So again, I've pre-opened the flaps but I haven't taken a peek. So let's have a look. Can't wait. Ooh, I see packaging there. Um, this is what I can see, uh, packaging. And a note, I do like a note. So let's see what the note says. Um, it's a gift from Pam G. Thank you so, so much, Pam G, for whatever it is. Uh, Pam says, enjoy your gift from Pam G. Pam, you're amazing. Um, let's take a look. Remove the packaging. Ooh, it's like entrails. Look, it's a bit grisly. Ooh, what is this? Um, sit, stay, enjoy. Oh, I think I know what it is. Uh, this, is what, this is what I can see, look. Um, it's a book. And I think I know which one it is. Ta-da! It's Guy the Beagle. It's Megan's dog. Um, it's his royal dogness, Guy the Beagle. The remarkable true story of Meghan Markle's rescue dog. Um, written by Guy the Beagle. Um, with Michael Brum and Camille March, illustrated by E.G. Keller. Wow. Um, what I might do is flip the camera over in a minute and show you properly. But wow. This, uh, I mean, obviously, well, I don't know if it is written for kids or not, but wow. Oh, it's really lovely illustrated. And there's even a little queen mother inside. <laughs> wow. Pam, thank you. Um, this is going to be amazing bedtime reading, so um, I'm going to turn the camera over and show you really quickly, so thank you so, so much, Pam. Okay, so here you can see a much clearer image of the book um, in all of its glory. Um, I won't show you inside, obviously, for copyright reasons, um, but yes, it looks amazing, and this can be found on Amazon, so you should be able to get your hands on it wherever you are from. Thank you again, Pam. Okay, so it's that time again. It is December the 2nd. So, um, we need to find window number two, don't we? Um, I'm still enjoying the thought of the taste of window number one. Here it is. Um, so, let's get into window number two. Okay, what does it say? Oh, an apricot danish. Um, apricots in sweet parfait with milk chocolate, hazelnuts and crispy pieces. Our improved recipe, inspired by the traditional Danish. Well, let's... I'll show you the window. Um, let's have a little peeky inside. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, a stripy one. I'll just show you the chocolate. Um, a lovely, delicious, stripy chocolate. Let's pop it in and see. Mmm. 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 Mmm, that's good. Mmm. 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 Delicious and fruity. The apricot really comes through. I love this advent calendar. Non-sponsored. Um, wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, I didn't show you the back of the box. It has actually um, all of the chocolates on the back. Um, mm, actually, which one am I not looking forward to? That would be good, wouldn't it? What am I not looking forward to? Um, let's have a look. I don't think there's any. 
Do you know what? Oh, maybe the espresso. Okay, I like coffee in a drink, but I'm not keen on coffee, like coffee cake or coffee chocolate. So uh, the interesting one I think will be the espresso. Although it does say an improved recipe of rich coffee flavors. So we'll give it a go. It's in dark chocolate. So um, yeah, the espresso I'm probably not looking forward to the most, but all of the others look absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yay, uh, window number two is a hit. And I have another package to open, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, but before that, I want to show you a little piece of footage uh, from It's Our Fenwick Life, who gave me an absolutely amazing shout out in their weekly vlog, their latest weekly vlog. So do go and check out their channel, It's Our Fenwick Life. Um, and you can watch the whole vlog. And if you do go and watch it, please leave a comment um, and say that I sent you. It is a really, really great channel and one which I really enjoy watching. And I just want to say thank you to Favour and Rob for the amazing shout out, which I'll show you now. If you are new, welcome. We welcome you. If you have come from the Royal Reviewer, Elliot, thank you and welcome. Of course, we adore Elliot. Um, what I love most about Elliot is that he dispels the myths. Um, you know, it seems our media these days really just want to find something wrong with those in the light, those in the, uh, what is limelight, those in the celebrity light or in the famous or royal light. Um, and I just think that's so unfair. And um, I appreciate so much that he dispels the myths and he seems to genuinely love the family. And I, that just, I just really, really like, I like that. I love his kindness. Um, and besides that, I think he's funny and we think he's incredibly kind. So, and the shout out he gave us this week was amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So we will definitely be returning the favor. As soon as we have a live, we're hoping to go live on the Bliss. Okay, so let's open and see what I've got. Um, I do know what this is because I ordered it. It's not what I thought it is. <laughs> okay, um, it's actually not what I thought it was. Um, so you can't see this yet. Um, shall I give you, oh, no, I'm not even gonna give you a little glimpse. I'm going to tease you. Um, you will see this um, very, very shortly because I've got something very fun planned. I thought this was something else. I thought it was a beauty product, hence being in the bathroom. Um, but no, it's not. So we shall reconvene on this subject a little bit later. So I think it is time to say goodbye for this week and close out the vlog. So if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, next week's vlog will probably be quite Christmassy because I will be putting up my Christmas decorations or at the very least starting to. Um, so do join me for next week's weekly vlog. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. And I apologize in advance for your ears. From me in Shropshire, goodbye. Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone I hear you call my name And it feels like home When you call my name It's like a little breath I'm down on my knees I wanna take you Just like a breath, you know I'll take I must stand alone I hear you call my name And it feels like home Just like a breath, your voice can take me there Just like a muse to me, you are a mystery Just like a dream